Hey guys, the name is Jasper, and welcome back to another video. Another day, another episode for Mana Clara at Ibarra Season 2. And bago yung lahat, of course, babasahin mo natin yung mga reply, I mean yung mga comment nyo sa mga, sa tatlong video na to. And from, from now on, what I'm going to do, after making the comment replies thing, automatic, i-upload ko na to sa internet ang diretsyo. Kaya, mas maaga nyo makikita yung part 1. Tapos yung part 2 and 3 will come out at the same time. In a, in a, in a much later time. Pero, yeah, that, I think that will make things way faster for me. Um, when it comes to editing. Pero, yeah. Simulan natin basahin yung mga comments nyo. I wonder what you guys um, can say about this specific episode. Because this, is this episode is special. It's the start of something new. Alright, scroll down tayo. Of course, we got the comment replies. The... Ooh, bless me. The answer action. And of course, the analysis. Then what I said Comment replies. Okay, tell me what's going wrote in. Yeah, uh, pareho sila na kulak ni Chef Sharvi. Uh, mas maganda lang yung portal ng The Last Recipe Consistent. Okay. Yeah, I think it's very clear na na I think this show clearly took a lot of inspirations from The Last, Re uh, from the last Recipe. Which is cool. Kasi I think it worked really well. I haven't watched The Last Recipe yet. It is in my watch list. Pero that's pretty cool to know. Uh, thank you for writing that in Telma. Wait, don't ask Chef Char Harvey, but Chef Harvey. That's Chef. Uh. Harvey Napoleon, tama ba? Chef Harvey. Wait, to ba siya? Ah, ito nga siya. Yata. Ah, wait lang. Tagalog pala to. Akala ko Korean show. <laughs> okay, anyways. Um, Kone mo nalang wrote in. Ang ganda ng lampa naman dyan. Baka pumasok dyan si Ari. Eh, baka nga. Pero as it turns out, kaya umilaw yan. Si Ari ay nasa lobis mo ng lampara. Kulungan niya yan. <laughs> Um, kung hindi mo nalang vote in Congrats sa mga ads Hindi uh, ako nag escape Thank you so much for the support um, Kung hindi mo nalang I'm just really happy um, And yeah um, Other than you know watching my videos And other ways, other ways to support me Is to watch the ads Stuff like that Because um, I do get um, some amount of money um, Ganyan dito sa YouTube na to Pero, pero it's not that big It's not that big Um I don't want to disclose um, any amount, but I'm gonna be on if parang it's enough to buy just uh, dalawang kopya ng PlayStation 4 games na bago. Parang ganun lang amount na na nakuha ko dito. Pero hey, um, any 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 amount of help will work. Um, I'm just really happy to do <laughs> this video. Um, then, then the money itself. But again, thank you so much, Connie, for that. I really appreciate your help. Um, it's really an ibara jan parang rakista. Yeah, yeah. And I'm always wondering how he's going to look like in each episode, because it feels like na parang each episode iba iba yata ichura niya. So that will be really great to see. Um, Arte, Sinning Arts wrote in. I am an avatar of the last Airbender Legend of Korra fan since I was in elementary or grade, um, grade school to high school. Okay, uh, when I have been watching some Filipino dub episodes of only book one, Water, uh, okay, two, um, Avatar the last and, and one of the free air television, and then the rest is history. Pero nung kayong dalawa na yun sa Nickelodeon eh. The only Avatar Legends, then yung mga mga franchise or Avatar Legends I was and didn't able to consume are the comics, okay? 
may nabasa akong ibang mga comics na issue. I think nabasa ko yung kwento na yung about sa katotohanan ng nanay ni Zuko. The truth behind uh, Zuko's mother. The prequel novel series. Ito yung bala ko basahin. Nobela to. Eh. Nabasa ko na yung first, second chapter nito. It was really interesting. It was an interesting chapter kasi hinahanap nila kung sino yung sunod na avatar. Which is Avatar Kiyoshi. Hinahanap nila si Avatar Kiyoshi mismo. And I think it took them a ton of years para mahanap si Avatar Kiyoshi. Yang Chen. Hindi ko pa ano mong basa yan. Previous Avatar video games. I don't play Avatar video. I, I, I actually did play The Legend of Korra video game before. A live action remake. Yeah, I'm really excited to see the remakes on Netflix. And yeah. I heard that they're making this new Avatar show, which is the Avatar after Korra. As it turns out, the timeline naman na yun, yung era na yun, is going to be within our own era. As it, um, the last Airbender happened in the past, diba? And then the Legend of Korra happened during the like it feels like the the Euro- European American Revolution during that time, Industrial Revolution. And this new Avatar show is going to happen in the information age, which is the the age that we are currently in right now with the internet and stuff like that. So I'm really curious to know. Uh, I always like um, sequels because it's curious to see how technology evolves in each in each show. Okay, that's pretty cool, Arte. Um, Mario Lord is in. Um, hindi ko kaya sabihin yung comment na yun kasi spoiler yun eh. Okay. Um, mapanakit sa na comment pero reliable naman po yung nagsabi yun. Hmm. Okay, uh, pero malay naman natin. May bago pa. Kasi two months ago po yung comments na yun. Oh, okay. So, wow. Ano two months ago? February na ba, February na ba dyan? January 31 pa lang dito. So, I think. Ah, mga November. November. Wow, that's a long, that's a long time. Yung pa yung mga panahon ni Sisa. Interesting. Uh, Masa pa, pa din ako. Uh, diba? Okay. Sige, ah. Uh, once na lumabas na yung, again, yung spoiler na yon sa mismong episode, uh, um, tell us about it. My Lord is not curious to ako kung ano yun. For it is pretty cool. Nakita mo yung comment na yun. Uh, thank you for watching, My Lord is. Okay, scroll down here. Dito na tayo sa honest reaction. Um, hindi naman kasi, okay, Mari, Marifi, Hilopi wrote in, hindi naman kasi ang pinaka napansin yung CGI na palpak. Um, hindi naman kasi ang pinaka napansin yung CGI na palpak. Um, hindi naman kasi pinaka napansin. Um, hindi ko masyadong magets ang sinasabi mo. Pero, um, yeah, I mean, especially sa, sa kabayo thing, um, parang, um, Eh, kang weird. Mukha siyang CGI. Sa paggalaw ng kabayo. Pero, medyo malabo yung video ko to the point na parang hindi ko malam kung CGI mo yun o totoong kabayo. Pero yung CGI sa mismong barko, oh God, that's, sir, that's atrocious. Parang PS1 na graphics. Pero, yeah, it is what it is. Um, it will be better kung parang isang still frame lang yon ng isang drawing na lang ng barko kaysa gamitin ng CGI pero eh, anyways yun ang nangyari um, thank you for writing that in Marifi Hannah Christine Torres wrote in a fan fact uh, namatay si Elias sa nori sa nori ni Rizal uh, pero according sa mga historians at sa mga kamag-anak na din ni Rizal isa sa mga pinakasikisiyan niya Eh, pinatayin niyo yung karakter ni Elias. Uh, gusto niya buhayin ulit. Kaso hindi na pwede kasi nalabas na yung Noli. Okay. Uh, bilang pagbibigay ng gala sa pambasang bayani, binuhay na rin karakter ni Elias. Na gusto sanang gawin ni Rizal pero hindi niya magawa. Um, pero yeah, I think I did mention this part sa analysis video ko. Pero um, um, knowing na balak niya palang baguhin pero nailabas na yung Noli tapos nagagalan din pala yung story na to sa kamag-anakan ni Rizal well that's really interesting to know then that's really awesome sa scene kung bakit nakastop ang mga characters maybe because di pa nasisinsin si mo ni Clay ang pagbasa ng libro 
Well, nakastop lahat, di ba? Nakastop lahat. Tapos suddenly, at that scene, walang point doon na, na parang binuksan ni Libre yung aklat at binasa niya. Parang wala doon part na yun. Pero merong isang, may dalawang tao naglalakad. Di ba? Lahat nakastop pero may dalawang tao naglalakad. So that doesn't make any sense. Di ba? If yung dalawang tao na naglalakad na yun ay part ng El Filibusterismo na story, then how come sila ay naglalakad? Tapos that is our stop. Lahat na lang gumalaw in normal once na nakaalis na si Clay at ni si Clay at susot na yung bago niyang damit, di ba? So, uh, it doesn't make any sense. Um, unless there's going to be an explanation in the future, pero we'll see. Tignan natin. Um, Eos wrote in, uh, but uh, hindi ka na-spoil about Elias. It made your viewing experience whole. Yeah, exactly. That's why. I mean, I've heard whispers of Elias coming back. Pero it's not enough to... It's not enough for me to believe na totoo nga yun. When I heard na Elias was coming back, it feels like oh, it's one of those theories na naman and stuff like that. Pero, yeah, um, I was able to avoid it. I really try to avoid social media whenever there's a new episode. Hindi ko na pinapanood. Um, I mean, hindi ko, hindi na ko social media, stuff like that. Um, while I'm still inside the group of the Maria Clara at Ibarra group sa sa Facebook, in-unfollow ko sila so I will never see any post related to it sa feed ko. So, no spoilers there. And yeah, I'm just happy. Okay, I'm going to make an, a video about spoilers in general on how it's going to affect a person's life um, and how it how spoiling something to a person feels like you're stealing someone ex, uh, one one in a lifetime experience na hindi na nala ulit mararamdaman in the future. <laughs> I'm going to talk about it in the future um, if I have the time. But yeah, thank you for writing that in, um, Eos. Um, be wonderful wrote in. Okay. Um, be wonderful wrote in. All right. Um, the spoiler I was referring to in some... Of my comments is boy sell yes okay um it was good it was good to see your reaction when you realized the boy siya um I wish hindi ko alam yung spoiler na yon pero na bigla din ako but GMA announced it kasi kumalat na sa social media I think GMA made the wrong move to announce to announce yung pagbalik niya no it will be great if may kumakalat na spoilers ganon pero let um let it be like a secret and stuff like that. Hinaya na lang nila. They just decided to ignore it. Pero the fact na kailangan pa na lang i-announce, uh, I think it was the wrong move uh, from GMA's part. Nainis nga si Miss Suzette Adoktolero sa mga nag spoil <laughs> I, I can't blame her. Um, If you're a writer, if you're creative, you always wanted to show your work in the most, uh, in the way that it was supposed to be experienced. And for Miss Suzette Doctoledo, para sa kanya, the best way of experiencing the spoiler is to see the episode itself and not hearing about it from a from a YouTube influencer and some and something like that. But oh, it is what it is. That is the internet. Um, I can't decide yet though if I like the change or not. Hmm. Okay, I'll wait after the series ends. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's great. You know. Um. Um, hindi ko na isip na you know there are other people who might not like the change, but it kind of makes sense then you know because it was such a sudden um, uh, paano, a sudden deviation from from the books na nabasa natin, but it's fine and you're right about it. Before we before we jump to conclusions, it's always better to wait after the series ends and then you can make your own judgment. That's as that is an amazing mindset that you have. Um, be wonderful. It's something that not a lot of people have, to be honest. Um, sa mga tao na kilala ko, people always like and love to jump to conclusions before, um, before watching the entirety of the series itself, and then they can make their own judgment, diba? Kaya nga I don't do basically like um like a review of the show itself habang nasa kaligitnaan pa tayo ng show at pinapalud pa natin, diba? Wala pang honest review. I always, some people will call my 
my part 3 or my part 2 videos kung saan ina-analyze ko yung video. Some people would call it a review. Para sa akin, it's not. It's more of an analysis. Stuff like that. All that I can say is that whether I like the episode or not. And then we are talking about the episode itself and not the show. But uh, yeah, after doing this series, I'm going to make an honest review of Maniklat Nibara. So subscribe. <laughs> Just to give you, uh, you guys self um, updated about that. I was sad na hindi si Fidel si Kiroga. Yeah, um, pero um, um, I think it's fine. I think it, um, it kind of worked. But again, uh, the Kiroga thing might have like really, really work. Because it's yeah, like you're trying to put two characters into one character. But you know, even though I think that's a good way of writing stories, um, we still see. Nakita balang natin first episode nato um, featuring Kiroga. So. Um, I wonder if the writers has a purpose or they just wanted to have it that way. Maybe they have other um, other stories to tell about Fidel. So that's fine. That was one of the tears that I, re- that I read that I really like. And I was uh, also hoping uh, it was right. Sayang. Yeah, but it was nice to see you excited during the scene. It was awesome. Um, yeah, if you saw the sign, then you saw the Kiroga. I don't have reaction there, for sure. But thanks to you, be wonderful. I became aware ako about the Kiroga. That's why I saw the Nikla sign. Yun. Then I got really excited. Right? Um, theory. Um, paano kaya kung ipeke din yung deaths ni? Simon and Mane Clara, um, I think this is a far-fetched idea, but hey, boy nga si Elias eh. Yeah, that's true. Given na boy na si Elias, I am now looking at this El Filibusterismo arc as a story that, as a story where anything can go. Anything goes. I wouldn't be surprised if going there if continuously they're going to make a lot of changes. But as long as the storytelling is there, as long as it's being executed really well, then I am just a happy viewer. Um again it's a Josh Queen show once the show is finished. And yeah, I'm just here to watch and hopefully like the changes that they're going to make. Thank you for writing that in, be wonderful. Mika O wrote in. A color, ang, ang colorful ng damit nila, um, then si Clay, yung favorite niyang movie ay yung Filipino horror, uh, wag ang lilingon. Ang colorful na ng damit nila, oh yeah, ang color, yeah, exactly, ang colorful na ng damit nila, uh, lahat ng characters also, except lang kay Mana Clara, naging itim na kasi madre siya. Uh, and at yung Filipino horror na wag kang lilingon. <laughs> okay. Nag-joke time si Mika. <laughs> I guess good na. All right, all right. Okay, pinang iti mo, Mika. That's awesome. Um, JM Upama. Upama wrote in. Nasayang talaga yung twist for Elias. It was all over social media. Kaya rin siguro, nilabas na sa 24 horas way before nitong episode. Mm. Yeah, it's sad. Buti na lang, um, I, the only GMA thing that I watch is this show. So, I'm not, inside the GMA ecosystem. I'm pretty happy. <laughs> I'm pretty happy na hindi ako na-spoil about the Elias thing. So, it made for an authentic experience. This episode was simply full of surprises and I'm just happy, super happy seeing Elias. Pero I'm really sad na, you know, you guys got got spoiled about the Elias thing. It's something that you guys wouldn't will not experience again, diba? Kasi, surprises in a show, in a story, and in movies is like one in a lifetime thing. Okay? And yeah, it kind of sucks na some, someone out there decided to spoil the entire twist. Na sina, sinasabi nila sa Manek Lara Tebara. Especially sa El Filibusteris Mark. Um, yung nga din ang naisip ko, na napol ko na yan sa 24 hours. Di ko sure ito ba ang tamang term? Parang damage control. Yeah. Yeah, yun ginawa nila, inlabas na news kasi nawala na yung surprise ng twist dahil dun sa nag-post na spoiler bit. Kaya, hindi din mapigilan ni Ma'am Suzette na mainis kasi nakadisappoint naman talaga at nakakalungkot lang din talaga sa buong um, production team. Yeah, 
Gaya na sabi ko, um, if you're a writer, if you're a creative, one, you wanted to show your work in a way that was supposed to be seen. Diba? In this case, para sa mga sa team Maniclara de Bada, they wanted to show the twist about Elias being shown in an episode itself. Diba? Not from a spoiler video from from someone in YouTube. Diba? And I can I can understand. I can understand. I'm a writer. And it is what it is. It is what it is. It sucks. But man, I'm really lucky na even though I make Maria Clara Tibada videos, and I wanna spoil mismo. You know. I'm in the part kung saan na I'm re- I really love this show. But I'm also the same person who never really tried to search about Maria Clara every day sa internet. Like ano, like lahat ng attention ko sa Maria Clara is only yeah, it's it's only within two hours or three hours while making these three videos right there. And after that, move on, on sa life ko. Okay, wala na yung Maria Clara, tiba sa isip ko. I can do everything else about my life. And then I can focus back to Maria, to Maria Clara kinabukasan. That's my thing. And it kind of helped me. kind of helped me to avoid a lot of spoilers, to be honest. Thank you for writing that, eh, Maria Lourdes and JM. Melissa po I wrote in. Yan. Yang reaction ang, uh, ang pinagkait sa akin, sa amin, ng mga spoilers. Uh, yeah, sadly. Uh, sadly na yun nga yun. Um, nakakapanghinayang. Ang laki pasabog sana na buhay pa si Elias. Kaso wala. Pero masaya ako. Nakita ang reaction mo. At least alam ko ganyan palang dapat <laughs> uh, narigalan ng Mika. Yeah, yeah. Surprises like this is a gift. Diba? And it sucks whenever, you know, uh, it sucks whenever you receive a gift. Tapos, ang nagbukas ng gift sa'yo mismo ay isa sa mga kaibigan mo. Kesa sa ikaw magbukas. Kasi one of the best ways of getting a gift is unwrapping the gift itself. Diba? So, again, I'm sorry na you were stolen from that experience. Ayong lahat na na-spoil, na, na pero... It is what it is. It is, it is what it is. I hope there's another some kind of a surprise in the next coming three weeks in the future. Pero, hey, ganun talaga. We live in the internet. We live in a world where where a lot of people think na spoiling something is is good. But actually, if you're a spoiler, is if is a kan tao na mahilig mag-spoil, hindi ka maalang nanay mo. <laughs> Yun lang masasabi ko sa'yo. Um, parang ang sarap siguro ng pano, uh, mapakat, makapanood ng pelikula especially every minute scenes na nagpapakita na naganap sa 13 years point of view yeah it's funny diba so we got 4 more weeks sa El Filipus mo I'm down I'm down if they just decided to make this one a movie kahit gawin na lang tatlong oras pero eh mas mataas yung production quality diba pero it is what it is that's fine thank you for writing that in Melly uh, Maria Lourdes wrote in, natawa naman ako doon sa rehasyon mo na nakita mo si Elias. Uh, buti hindi mo napanood yung spoiler vision na yun. Yeah, wala akong idea kung ano yung spoiler vision na yun. Like, zero. Wala akong idea. Zero, zero, zero. Hindi ko, di ko alam kung ano yung spoiler vision na yun. Pero, knowing na alam ko na yung spoiler about kay Elias, baka panoorin ko, baka hanapin ko sa internet. Pero yeah, I've, I haven't seen it. Hindi din na, hindi din na nag-twitter. So, hindi ko alam yung mga nangyayari um, behind the scenes. Nung nag-comment ako about doon, medyo inisip ko din yung mga words na isusol ko na, na hindi ka ma-spoil. Like, thank you so much for the many lords. And yeah, um, I'm just happy whenever people whenever people try to write stuff na para basahin ko, pinag-isipan talaga na whether they wanted to spoil something or not. But I'm, I'm just happy na you didn't spoil anything kasi it made my experience um, with the alias surprise more authentic. Talaga na palapit. Akala ko isa akala ko yung lalaking may bigo. Akala ko yung lalaking tumulong kay Fidel yung isa sa mga lalaking mahaba din yung buhok. 'Di ba? As it turns out. Tapatingin ako. Si Elias nga yun. Elias ba yun? Yeah, si Elias nga. Pero tayong reaction do sa bigo ni Elias na pasi ko nga din yun. Hindi ko nagustuhan. Pero natuwa ako na parang uh, sila ni Fidel ang may game BFF dito. Yeah. Yeah, hindi ko na-expect. Yeah, hindi ko na-expect. I'm, just like I said, hindi ko na-expect na magkakaroon ng team up si Fidel pati si Elias. 
but it is a surprise that is that I can really welcome. It is very welcoming. I really love it. I wonder um, how their story is going to play out in the next set of episodes, and I just wanted to see a Vault Three scene someday. Tao si ikut yung camera para Avengers, de ba? That will be really really cool. Um, but yeah, but do yung bigot in Elias? Uh, they could have done, made it better. Pa ni sip nila, oh, madilim naman, di naman nila mapapan sinyon. You're wrong. Nakita namin na hindi maganda yung bigote ni Elias. Pero hey, doon sa scene na Hiroga, it looks really good. He looks really good. Alright, I'm artist seeing artwork in. Boy na boy, um, at tuloy-tuloy na po ang kwento ng character ni Elias ni Miguel Sel Filibusarismo. Um, ito na po ang pinaka uh, dakila at pinakamalaking tuwat. Uh, <coughs> so, nagbubur po ko. Ito na yata ang pinakadakila, ang pinakamalaking plot twist sana. Uh, sana na Mikay na na-spoil na mga ilang semana o, o linggo um, sa social media. At na-i-balitan na lang din sa so, GMA. Kaya sa Gwente Quattro Oras, okay, napod ko lang last week. Uh, last week. Well, but na lang, hindi ko napod. But na lang, hindi ko napod ng 24 oras. So, I didn't know. Ito rin po ang pinakadakila, pinakamalaking spoiler na ayaw na ayaw at ipilit namin. Naming huwag sabihin. <laughs> Always po yung kwento. Uh, excuse me sa inyo, Jasper, Sir Jasper. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Arte. Thank you to all the people na, who decided to hide that info. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm just really happy knowing na tinago yung info na yun sa akin. Pero I'm, again, that's, that's, that's the most responsible way of handling a spoiler. Is to not tell someone. About a spoiler itself, so I'm just really happy. I'm just really happy na ano. Um, I just heard um heard whispers and stuff like that. But there was this one viewer who commented about um Elias' return and something like that. Pero I still took it as a way na okay um fine ganon ganon um parang para sa akin parang theory pa rin and stuff like that. Unless because I'm a person that whenever I hear a spoiler. Ako yung taong gusto ko muna mak- I wanted to see it first to believe it. That's my mentality. Yun ang mentality na nabuo ko after seeing a ton of Star Wars spoilers and Marvel spoilers sa uh, social media. I'm like, okay, may nabalitaan ko si si Iron Man daw na matay sa Endgame. May picture sila. Okay, fine. Baka edited lang yan. Baka edited lang. I would rather see it in the movie itself just to confirm whether the spoiler is true or not. So, those kind of things really worked me. I was able to make this some kind of armor, spoiler armor sa mismong mentally sa isip ko. And I'm just really happy that I was able to develop it. Um, napansin po namin ng iba, um, o ng iba na na-theorize na rin po namin uh, ang buhay na nga po Pwede yung um, boys nga po sa Elias mula sa pagkatapos na, ng episode na to this week, 76 to 80, okay? About two weeks ago, uh, kung saan pinalabas na namatay na nga daw siya, nasunog. At nakita na nga ni Senyor Alfares, um, ay nasa mga Guardia Civil. Tapos yung nga, yung, yung, yung Rosario nandoon din. Um, I even commented nine days ago, part one reaction. Okay, episode 80. Uh, possibility which I code down here below um, in my comment. Which is a theory. Speculation. I still don't know personally anything about this being a plot to Simikai. And that is a spoiler of Mikai. And it is. <laughs> Alright, see you in the next This is one of my comments about 90 days ago. Hello po, may chance na talaga na po na buhay po talaga si Elias. Mm, okay. Um... I don't remember if I was able to read this um, or if I did. Alam mo yung alam mo meron sa episode 80. Nasaan kaya ako nito? Ten days ago. Ah! Ah, ito yung ano? Ay, tinbalok ko reply yan. Tama. Na, na, so, 
or wait lang, but na-reply ko ba to? 81 Kailan ko to in-upload? Inupload ko to January 20. Ah, hindi ko to na... Ah, ito yung bala kong reply yan. Oo. Oh, God, oo oh, nga. Sorry guys. Um, ha, ah, God. So, sobrang busy na ako with my life. Hindi ko to na, na reply yan. Man, I still have to... Tina ko na lang. Um, I'm not going to promise na hindi ko ma-reply ko itong mga to. Pero... Okay. Um, sorry about that, you guys. Like, super busy na ako. Um, I got school and stuff. I wanted to reply to them, pero um, I just really can't find the right time uh, right now. Pero we'll see. Dila na lang natin. So, yun na lang sa mga di ko mara reply in there. Uh, hala ko po nga po, buhay nga po si Elias. Nasunog ang katawan. Bangkay nakita ng mga kwarts si Bill. At uh, hindi ang mga katawan ng bangkay ni Nasisa at Elias kung hindi si Nasisa at isang kwarts si Bill. Hmm. Nakalan ni Kapitan Thiago. Nag-us lang po talaga sa sinabi ni Rancis. Kaya niyang komento sa 79. Okay. At sa mga sinabi naman ni Al John sa kanyang komento, binalikan ko po ang nakaraan ng episode 76. Eh, 78. Pinanood ko po yun na mabuti po. And napansin ko nga po, uh, roong isang napakaikling isa na nakaraan sa recap na habang, OY! Parang napansin ko nga ito yun, napakikling eksena rin yun, pinakita na isang Guardian Civil nga po. Nauna na, nakapunta na, nakarating. Aha. Pinauna nga po siya ng isang lagay kagupatan. Sabihin na gano'n. Mm-hmm. Pagkatapos, um, binamba, gano'n lang. At na, ako nakaroon, sinabi ko sa komento ito ko sa libingan, at kaninong libingan yun. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, pakatapos ng binasa ng isa sa guard. May tingin siya doon. Ano kaya mayroon doon sa lugar na yun? Yung nga eh, merong, merong isang abangan na scene na nalala ko na parang iba daw. I remember someone leaving a comment there na parang may nakita siya sa abangan na scene na parang hindi pinakita mismo sa mismong episode. So, those, I think yun ang parang butas. Yun, nandun mismo yung butas kung about sa about sa survival ni, er, ni Elias eh. So, I think yung pala yun, it, it, everything kind of makes sense now. Okay. Pagkatapos, yung binababa ang isang gwardiya si Bill ng kanyang armas. Uh, medyo lumayan yung kanyang katawan. Tingin siya doon. Kaya meron doon sa lugar na yun. At bigla na lang napatumba ang isa sa mga gwardiya si Bill sa likod na pinagtagpuan. Okay. Oh. Mawangit na pagturag ng malakas sa likod ng bato ko. Oh. Ang pagkatapos po na napakailang eksena ito, nakaraan, na pinakita na po habang nagsaset at simulang kailangan sa unang eksena, nakaraan, um, sa biglang nag-cut, nag-bumalik. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Kaya may chance na talaga po na buhay si... Okay, man. Talagang na... Talagang... Like you, there are a lot of people who try really try to analyze that part. Then, wow, um, it's crazy na you guys were able to see that. Because someone did mention na parang may iba daw sa scene na yun, na parang nakita na nasabangan, pero wala mismo sa mismong episode. Kaya it kind of makes sense na na yung pala yung, ma, yung, pala yun, yung, pala yung butas na, na maglilid sa atin sa pagkabuhay ni Elias. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Pero, man, it's, it's, again, it's, it's just, I'm just happy na uh, boy na si Elias. Pero, wow. Going back to episode 80, that's from, yeah, that's from last week. If, if if only I got like a lot of time to analyze each of the episodes more, maybe nakita ko din yun. Pero hey, sining, uh, you 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 have really good eyes para nakita yun. And it was something na yung 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 pagkabuhay niya. It was it was something that I wasn't expecting to like 
really happen. Diba? And just recently lang nakita ko na baka buhay nga si, si Elias na sa Facebook post na yun. Pero that thing going back from last week and maybe from two weeks ago, that's really interesting. Um, and it kind of makes sense na kung ba't may mga parang butas na nangyari and may mga scenes na parang nakita ng ibang tao tapos ako naman di ko nakita. Sabi ko, ang excuse ko doon, baka inedit lang yon ng GMA kasi in GMA, they try to show this episodes in two ways, the live stream, but this is a regular episode na video nila. Pero yeah, it is what it is. But again, thank you for writing that in Artist Seeding Arts. That was really interesting to read. <laughs> Parang you did some kind of investigative um, journalism right there. All right. Um, and finally, we have the analysis right here. Let's scroll down for a bit. Newest first. Telma Busgana wrote in that info that you heard last December, um, jazz is legit, even the historian said so. Okay, yeah. Um, I think I believe it now. Uh, you guys um, said it. Um, I still have to do more research about it because I'm a person who really wants to see like the source. But hey, right now, I believe na. Rizal did want Elias to be the main character of, of El Filibusterismo. And that is something that I really find in, interesting about the, uh, about the two books itself. I like learning trivias about the two books. Even yung trivia na binigay sa atin ni Arnis, ni Artis Healing Arts, yung, ano, yung trivia na binigay niya about kay yung madre, about the case of this madre na in real life na kinulong din and stuff like that na binase ni Rizal sinulat niya doon sa na-experience ni Maria Clara mismo sa, sa epilogue. So, that was really interesting too. I like reading stuff like that. Mika O wrote in, na, uh, nakapagtataka nga po, uh, bakit naka-time freeze noong simula ng Noli ay naka-freeze rin ba? Um, kasi baka tulog lang po siya noong umpisa. I was thinking na walang time freeze sa Noli Mitangare because she got teleported in a different way. Dito, she teleported herself vol- uh, like like voluntarily and decision niya mag-teleport siya mismo kaya maybe there was a time freeze thing in that or kaya naka-time freeze dati nalungan ni Clay, si Sir Torres para hindi na siya pag titingnan ng ibang tao. Ha? Huh? Okay. Yeah, that will be. Yeah, that will be an interesting take. Pwede. Baka once na nag-teleport si si Clay sa mundo ng El Fili, parang napaisip muna sa Sige, time freeze muna. Mabiis ka muna, Clay, and then I'll put the time back. Kasi he has a pocket watch. Parang time got daw siya sa last recipe. I got the, this theory na pa, yung uh, pangalan ni Sir Torres daw ay Jose P. Torres. So, pwede siya si Jose Rizal. There's a lot of theories about Sir Torres. Pero, yeah. It is what it is. Um, thank you for it in Mika. Um, Be Wonderful wrote in uh, some random thoughts, okay? Um, I think yung mga taong naglalakad was a creative choice to serve a, as a transition o ng basic life. Like, yeah. I mean, it I mean, kind of makes sense na parang takpan nila yun, tapos parang mag-basic lie. Pero, you could, I mean, they could have shot that scene in a ton of different ways. They don't have those two other people walking. Um, madaming ways para i-shoot yung scene na yun. Um, pwede na lang i-cut na lang na nakabiis na siya. Or pwede naman, pwede naman i-shoot na lang yung scene na yun na hindi na kailangan ipakita na nag-basic lie or nagganap pa siya ng lamin and stuff like that. There's a lot of ways to, to tell that part of the story. Pero, you know, kututu- pero by the end of the day, it kind of ruined the rule of the time freeze. Kung lahat naka-time freeze, then how come those other two people are walking? That's, 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 that's just what I think. May buwad-buwad silang um, bagay na nagtakip sa camera. Yeah, um, nag-transition from one scene to uh, sila wala na. Yeah, yeah. Um, that scene also took me out of the story. Yeah, it, it did. Me na na-confused din ako. Parang weird lang yung edit. <laughs> I had to watch it several times. Then people started moving. Yeah. Yung nga eh. um, it, it's just it's just really weird. Um, maybe it might be a nitpick, pero it's really something that really it, it really rubbed me rubbed me the the wrong way. So 
hey, it is what it is. Tatanggapin na lang natin ng ganun yun. Um, unless there's an explanation to it in some future episode, we'll see. That's why it's really important to see the entirety of the show first before we can make our own judgment, diba? I think they started moving when Clyde started to move in the direction where the story is moving. Mm. It's a cue that the book that the book started. Parang nagbasa ng libro. Yeah, pero again, everything time freeze, pero may dalawang tao naglalakad, it doesn't make any sense. Um, what if Elias is alive because of Clyde? There's a chance, yeah? I believe so. 100%. What other way can you make Elias alive other than having someone try to intervene and kinda make them realize that they are, they, they are worth living? and stuff like that and I do believe that because of Clyde why is Elias I believe that I think there's no other way of no other way of doing that to be honest probably one of the twists um, is Elias live because Clyde gave him first a way of applying pressure on his womb yeah kind of makes sense that's what she tried doing he didn't die from blood loss um, um, na bago lang ni Clyde's story uh, this El Fili is Clyde's version na bago yun so it's more This will surprise Klein and inspire her to change more things in the face of books. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Once in the Lama, yeah. You're right about that. Yeah, be wonderful. Yeah. Ngayon ko lang na-realize yan. Once na makita ni Klein at nalaman niya yung buhay si Elias. Then that's great. Sabi niya, wait. Ang nabasa ng libro, patay na si Elias eh. Kung buhay si Elias, ibig sabihin, I can actually make changes here in the books and it was implied doon sa dingin dingin yung kami na scene hmm. kaya by the time na bumalik si Clyde sa kanyang totoong mundo mag, ma- makikita natin pangalan ni Maria Infantes sa libro mismo ng El Fili na to ha huh, okay okay yeah that will yeah yeah Clay, um, Elias being Clay's inspiration, knowing that she can actually make some changes in the story. Yeah, that's a, that's really going to inspire, inspire her. If sabi niya, um, um, Simon, Maria Clara, maramdam kong feeling ko kaya kong baguhin yung fate niyo kasi nabago ko yung fate ni Elias. Then yeah, I can see that argument, um, that conversation, um, existing in a future episode. Wala kayang uh, naghahanap ng na katrabaho, kaibigan, or family yung Guardia Civil na sinunog ni Elias. Uh, would that make it bad as suspicious? It might be alive. Hey, what are the chances na yung mismong sa bagay? Sa bagay, uh, ito na masasabi ko. I know we want to try to dive into the technicalities of the storytelling and stuff like this. But uh, whenever I see um, like someone mention about like the very technicalities of storytelling, guy nito na weather, di ba ano? May suspicious yung mga guards and stuff like that. I see it in a way na. na fictional story would will not be always a 100% representation of real life. I see this in a way na, okay, if nangyari man to, is it even necessary to tell this element of the story sa overall storytelling ng El Filibusalismo? Diba? Is it necessary ba? Stuff like that. Kaya, you know, whenever there's an there's a uh, there's a character in a show, is it always necessary but to hear their backstory? Or you just wanted that character to be a very good character within the context of that show? You just wanted to be this character to be three dimensional, to be relatable. But is it na- necessary to know about their life story? And stuff like that. Parang yun, yun naman, yun naman nasa isip ko eh, when it comes to, the, to those technicalities, pagdating sa storytelling. Um, I think magikita na sila ni Clay at Fidel next episode. Episode 7. Yeah, that's what I also, also think next next episode. 
14 episodes left. I don't think they'll push it um out that long. At sana, uh, sana matutulog si Clay. I think sasawa siya kay Elias at, at Clay. I believe so. Diba mayroong grupo sila Elias pati, Elias pati si Fidel, yung grupo na parang makikiki doon. I think that's where she's going to sleep. Um, Clay also probably inspired Basilio to be a doctor. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Halatang halata. Ay, hindi. Hindi naman inspired. Ah, baka. Baka ba? Yeah, pwede. Kasi, kasi naalala ni Basilio, Basi, di ba? Ginagamot siya ni Clay nung hinatid ni Clay si Basilio sa bahay nila ibara. So, baka na-inspired na siya doon. Pero sinabi din naman ni ano, sinabi din mismo ni ni Ibarra kay Basilio dati na mag aral siya, di ba? I'm, I'm just not sure if sinabi niya mag aral siya ng doktor, pero hey, at least nag aral si Basilio, di ba? Ayan, yun na yun. Ginamot sila ng Clay ng bata. Yeah, yun na yung sabi ko. <laughs> What if Clay uh, pretends to enter the convent as a nun and try to see Mane Clara? That would be really interesting to see. I really like it when they try to wear this guys. One of my favorite episodes is seeing Mane Clara With a bigote. I really like that episode. That was a very cute episode. Um, I think... Oh, lang, what if Mana Clara is alive? Pero sinabi lang ni Padre, sabi ng patay na siya. Para walang kumuha sa kanya. Baka ikulong niya si Mana Clara. Then that will be very sad. I, I hope that's not the case. Um, I think Elias won't die in this Elfield version. He will represent the katipo na sa si Bonifacio. Yeah, but also Bonifacio died in real life. Diba? Kung tutusin. Just like how Jose Rizal's death inspired the people to revolt against the Spaniards um, with, the leader- uh, with the leadership of Bonifacio. Simon's death will also inspire the people to revolt with the leadership of Elias. Yeah. It kind of makes sense then. Um, so basically, what's going to happen is that kasi sinasabi natin na Jose Rizal I see Ibarra, para si Bonifacio ay si Elias. Sabi lang dahil yung alang in that fictional world, mas naunang naman si Bonifacio kaysa kay Rizal mismo. Pero yeah, I mean, because we're, whenever we're talking about this part of the story, we are now talking about the future of um, what happens next after El Filibus Rizmo, di ba? In my mindset, in a way, Whatever happens next in El Filibusterismo is nothing but fan fiction na. Kasi we clearly does, we 100% will never know what happens next after El Filib, after El Filib because only Rizal knows that. That's why the ending of El Fili can be open to interpretation. Yung chances na sa mundo ng Noli at El Fili there's a huge chance, there are chances na once na they reach the year 2023, maybe they are still under Spanish colonialism. Who knows? Maybe they are still under American colonialism. Who knows? Hindi natin alam. Kasi, whatever happens after El Fili is again a work of fiction. It didn't happen in real life. Ang, ang base lang sa real life ay yung mismong within the confines of El Fili and Noni Mitangari. Yun lang yun. Pero what happens next, we don't know. We can't compare what happens next in El Fili with, with, with us in real life. Kasi we, we, I mean, this is real life, di ba? And again, what happens in El Fili is something that is very, um, It's nothing but speculation na lang, di ba? What if alternate timeline to and um, maybe in this world sa Pilipinas kung saan hindi nila naipala yung Pilipinas. Spanish, ko, ko, ano, um, in the year 2023, they're still being colonized by Spanish people, stuff like that. They are a very different Filipino and stuff like that. But there's, again, there's always, if there's a chance for that, there's also a chance na they are now living in a state where we are living right, right now. Diba? Kung saan malaya na tayo. Pero again, we will see. Uh, Tignan natin. Kasi this is like, um, um, stuff like this is, is like um, like out of bounds na pagdating when it comes to the stories that Jose Rizal wrote. 
and and everything that happens after Elfil is nothing but um speculation uh, and fan fiction. So there's that. But yeah, I'm thinking of writing that in be wonderful. Very insightful comments as always. Um Ming wrote in um wala talagang nakaraan na yung episode. Yeah, masalamdam mong um na nasa new season na tayo. <laughs> Um, that makes sense. Kaya pala, may cold epen- kaya, kaya pala may cold opening just to immerse ourselves into this second season na managrati ba? Diba? Kind of makes sense. I, and I like that change. I like that small change. Mas mahaba at siksik itong episode. Yeah, 100%. There's a, lot of ep- there's a lot of things that happen in this episode. I'm new for the... Um, I'm all in for the new duo. Taga-usig. Okay, taga-usig. Naliwanagan. Okay. Kailangan kong tandaan to. Taga-usig, naliwanagan. Taga-usig, nalinawagan. Ano ibig sabihin ng usig? Wow. Prosecute ah. Okay, siya yung taga-prosecute. Tapos nalinawagan. Prosecutor, si Elias. Nalinawagan. Klein. That's really interesting. I like that name. I like, I like, what they call themselves. Parang maroon silang game or username, di ba? <laughs> Naliwala sa taga-usig. I love that. I actually miss it. Di ko, di ko, um, na-miss ko yung part na sinabi na na to. Or baka di ko lang na-intindan sinabi na. But that's interesting. Taga-usig si Elias, nalinawagan si Fidel, which makes sense, kind of explain their, their backstory, di ba? So I like that. I'm thinking for that, uh, Ming, Kailangan ko talaga matandaan ito. Ilagay ko nga ito sa Google Keep ko. Notes. Ay, leche. Note pa. Nabuks lang ko. Note. Sticky notes. Okay. Yan. Tag-ghosting ka. Okay. Thank you for that, Ming. JM wrote in. May kahit team just posted na nasa, lahat, na nasa last days na nga daw sila ng filming. Okay. Na may will end in February 17 with 100 episodes. Okay, 17. Awesome. Wow, that's great. Guys, February 19, pupunta akong Japan. Pupunta akong Japan sa February 19. So that's just awesome na magtatapos yung show na to sa, seven, uh, sa 17. Parang di, di ko kailangan humabol during my second week trip. Two week trips sa Japan. So I'm just really happy with that. But thank you for confirming about that, um, JM. I'm, I'm, um, we are now in the end game, and I'm just really excited to see what's going to happen next. But hopefully, if they're referring to season one lang at my incoming season two, talaga, <laughs> uh, we'll see, we'll see. I'm, I still want to see a season two. To be honest, I want them to explore the the El Philly world as much as possible. But hey, I'll take what I can get. And actually, maraming nagpe-petition. Wow, wow. Um, sequel and spin-off. Kaya sa maraming din nakapila for shows. Uh, Sladis 2023. Mga liham. Ni Urduha. Yung nga, uh, ng Votas 5. Sabi nga ng iba, kahit daw ang tayo next year. Iba din talaga, um, ni Kai, ganun siya. Kalakas sa masa. Yeah. I will wait for next year. If they're going to make a season 2, or maybe do something like this, uh, around the Nolimit Angler, Around the Nolimitanger Tangani world, I will wait for next year. Willing, willing ako. Pero hey, petitions never work. Petitions never work. They don't work when it comes to the film industry. They never work. Oops. Pero what does that? But petition, they are effective about sending a message. Once it get. It's a lot of traction, but petitions never work, to be honest. Um, but yeah, thank you for writing that in JM. And finally, uh, Maria Lourdes wrote in, um, I still like this episode, kahit may mga konting issues, like yung bigot in Elias. Yeah, uh, ang baduy doon sa scene, pero okay po natin sa Kiroga. Yep, at yung sa time freeze. Yeah, we share the same sentiments, um, Maria Lourdes. Para medyo nakulangan lang din ako doon sa time freeze, inisip ko. Um, dahil iba, iba ba way ni Clay pagkapasok sa Elfield na may time freeze? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I think the fact na pumasok si Clay sa Elfield in her own way, I think that explains the time freeze. Pero overall, there should be like a proper story telling way of why the time freeze, ba? 
other than para magpalit lang si Clay ng kanyang pananamit. Kala ko biglang magpasok ni Kala ko biglang papasok si Prof sa scene na yun. Magkakaroon siya ng backstory kung paano nangyari yun. Oh, that will be great sana na ba? Kasi the, the pocket watch was hinted. That will be great. Pero they didn't do it. Nagustuhan ko din dito yung pagbabago ni karakter ni Fidel. <laughs> Gusto ko din yung alias code nila. Yeah, taga-usig for security na, 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 na linawan or dial night. And yeah, that's true. Um... Pretty cool names, to be honest. Um, na-miss ko to nung pinag yung episode, nalimutan ko, or di ko narinig, or bingi ako. Pero these are pretty cool names, to be honest. Pretty cool names. Thank you for writing that in, Mario Lourdes. And now, it's time to watch episode 87, you guys. Thank you for watching. See you guys in part two. Honest reaction. Goodbye, and take care.